just recently you made some changes some big decisions pertaining to certain areas in your life and in the last 2 months from end of october or you could say november mid you got a feeling that you achieved something but now suddenly you are starting to feel that <laughs> is this what i wanted or is this what i really need or did i ever want this or did i want something completely else or maybe i still need this but uh, in a different form or in a different way a different way to approach things so if that confusion is going inside you then you are at the right place because today is the conjunction of sun and moon and ketu is very near to it and the fun is mercury and saturn are also there in sagittarius and this calls for the solar eclipse and this is the first eclipse of this year so if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know what will happen in the solar eclipse today <laughs> or tomorrow depending on where you stay and yes before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him <laughs> okay and yes if you want a consultation from me regarding this eclipse then <coughs> please go down to the description section you will find the link to my website there and you can book a reading So now what is happening is there's a lots of there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the sign of Sagittarius. <coughs> Mercury is in Sagittarius. Moon is in Sagittarius. Sun is in Sagittarius. Saturn is already in Sagittarius. Saturn is in the nakshatra of Purvashada and Sun is also in Purvashada nakshatra and Moon will also be and it is actually in Purvashada. Mercury is in Mula nakshatra. and ketu is transiting somewhere in the end of capricorn yes i mean in the beginning because ketu is in the ending uh, phase of uh, its sign because ketu goes retrograde so ketu's end is actually the beginning of capricorn <coughs> and because ketu is very near to sun and moon that is why this is an eclipse this is not just a ordinary new moon so now what is happening is in your chart the houses which saturn and mercury is ruling and wherever the sign sagittarius is falling you will see that there is a lot of strategic implementation which is going on should i repeat there is a lot of strategic implementation of the houses which saturn is ruling along with mercury and the pressure is coming in the house where sagittarius is falling does it sound like somebody no it's very difficult to understand well let's try to make it simple <laughs> so <coughs> suppose you are a leo ascendant for example then saturn rules which houses saturn is ruling the 6th house and the 7th house am i right yes <laughs> and for you mercury rules which houses mercury rules the 2nd and the 11th house second house of family wealth money and 11th house of gains network circles so now these two are conjunct in the sign of sagittarius now for a leo where is sagittarius it's in the 5th house no it's in the 9th house no it's in the 5th house <laughs> so now what's happening is the energies of the 6th 7th the 2nd and the 11th houses these four houses they are getting focused on the 5th house that means to fulfill the agenda of these four houses 2 6 7 and 11 you will try to move towards the 5th house and this is happening in the nakshatra of purva ashada so when sun and moon are nearer to ketu then what happens is there is something of the past which we thought that will work out but we have to let go of it and now something new comes out because new moon is when sun and moon are together then something new comes out means k2 
केतु शोज थिंग्स ऑफ द पास्ट विच वी कैन नो लॉन्गर होल्ड ऑन टू एंड द प्लैनेट्स विच आर कंजंक दिस इक्लिप्स दे विल हैव द मैक्सिमम से ऑन वॉट इज वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन द चार्ट सो एज आई गिव द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ लियो असेंडेंट इट कैन हैपन दैट फिफ्थ हाउस विच इज मैटर्स रिलेटेड टू चिल्ड्रेन Yes. So suppose you are a Leo ascendant, then it can happen that you are focusing too much on issues of the fifth house. It can be love, if romance. If you are single, then you might be thinking too much of this. Or the focus of the marriage, because it's your seventh lord. It is also your sixth lord, is going to that direction. So now, whenever you think of marriage, if you are married already, and if you don't have kids, you might be thinking that. oh maybe now is the time because the seventh lord has gone to the fifth house in transit and sun and moon the luminaries which show the focus for the time is telling now is the time that you have to focus on this aspect of your life so similarly you can check now why i give the example for a leo ascendant is because mercury is also ruling the houses of family and marriage which is uh, the second house and the 11th house okay so <clears throat> for them all the marriage houses are getting activated so if somebody is a leo ascendant for example then marriage and marital issues are going to be uh, too much on the limelight these days after this eclipse specifically you will feel that so you can see for every ascendant where the sign of capricorn is where the sign of aquarius is where the sign of gemini is and where the sign of virgo is and where the sign of sagittarius is Sagittarius is like the dumping ground all the bombs are falling there <laughs> so the focus of those houses which are ruled by mercury and saturn will be to fulfill the agenda through the house where sagittarius is that is how you read transits all right so <clears throat> now what is going to happen is because saturn is involved in this now apart from the houses which saturn rules in your chart saturn we have to understand is it's a natural malefic it is an enemy of the sun and moon although it's a friend of mercury but it's an enemy to the luminaries why because the luminaries sun and moon to some extent shows our desire to be in this world to be like the sun which is which is actually a representation of lord ram and moon is representation of lord krishna so sun and moon actually to some extent can show our desire to be the king and to enjoy that's what the sun and moon shows ultimately <laughs> but when saturn comes into the picture what happens is <coughs> we come in contact with what is the reality and the reality is that everybody is trying to enjoy everybody is trying to be the king everybody is trying to be the queen <laughs> depending on who you are you are a man or a woman <laughs> so because of that what happens is <clears throat> there are lots of circles which are drawn yes so my circle is this and your circle is this and the moment there is a clash it's like bang <laughs> you stay there i stay there but we cannot stay together right that is what sun and saturn is why because when sun and saturn are conjunct and now moon is also conjunct so then what happens is <coughs> we come into the reality that not only we are drawing circles here in this material world everybody else they are also drawing their circles so now what happens is surya which is our desire to have a have something like because what sun is basically sun is the light and everybody likes the sun because he is shining brightly he is is effulgent everybody wants to be like the sun oh yeah you have a great job you look great you have a lot of money you have a lot of name fame power post position etc so our desire to be shining like that sun <laughs> gets into clash with other people who are also trying to be like the sun that's where the problem is so now what's the remedy for this the remedy is that <coughs> we draw concentric circles concentric circles means the circles where the center is the same but we keep drawing more and more circles so then what happens is 
we will realize that the circles can expand more and more and more but there's no ego but the thing is where is the center which is that one central point which if we keep and we make all other circles around it there will be no clash there will be no ego battles there will be no e uh, there will be no struggles which is which is that circle which is that uh, sorry which is that center well that center lord krishna says is he himself yes so if we put god in the center then all the problems of sun saturn sun moon uh, moon saturn all these problems they vanish because then we do not channelize our individual egos with ourselves only we understand that vasudeva kutumbakam that this whole world is like god's family and we are like brothers and sisters so when we do our spiritual practices regularly diligently when we do our mantras every day morning or every day evening when we read scriptures like the shrimad bhagavatam then we realize that god is god is the greatest he is he is so great that his greatness spans beyond anybody's greatness and anything great that you see in this world is actually a manifestation of god's greatness krishna says in the gita yad yad vibhuti mat sattvam shrimad urjitam e bhavan tat tadeva gachchatvam mama tejamsha sambhavam mama tejamsha sambhavam oh my dear arjuna whatever attractive that you see in this world is a spark of my mama teja amsha teja amsha it's spark of my splendor which means whenever you see somebody is looking very beautiful that is because god is all attractive whenever you see somebody is knowledgeable because god is all knowledgeable whenever you see somebody is wealthy because god is all wealthy so that is the center where all the other circles fade so when we keep god in the center then the energy of the eclipse is very harmonious whenever there is an eclipse involving saturn you will always see that there are lot of frustrations which people undergo and especially if the uh, <coughs> energy is having a, a nodes like ketu which is there in this case then there is something which gives us frustration and then there is something which we have to let go because of ketu so that becomes like a double blow but when we know that the center is somebody else then our whole life revolves around that center then we do not want to put ourselves in the throne because we know somebody is already sitting there <laughs> we cannot sit in the throne because the throne is not for us it's for somebody else when we know when we understand this fact then we can handle the <coughs> energies of the eclipses which are involving saturn especially in a much better way so now about sagittarius this is happening in purvashada nakshatra purvashada nakshatra is the nakshatra which comes after mula nakshatra i don't know why this is getting blurry <laughs> frustration you see saturn <laughs> so mula nakshatra is the nakshatra where we form foundations but purva shada is the nakshatra <coughs> where we become hopeful where we become optimistic about the fact that maybe someday we will work on the things that we have decided No, not where we start working. Maybe where we will start working one day. <laughs> it's like the hope for future, endless hope, as in scriptures it is said, "Asha bandha," hope against hope. <laughs> so, Sagittarius is the original ninth house. It's the house of beliefs. It's the because <clears throat> if you believe in God or if you don't believe in God, ultimately you are believing in something. a person who is a believer of god believes in the presence of god and a person who is an atheist he believes in the non existence of god <coughs> he believes in the denial of god or you are agnostic you say maybe god exists he doesn't exist <laughs> it's confusing you see so hope is something which is there with a follower of god a believer of god and also with an atheist an atheist is completely hopeful he is totally convinced that god doesn't exist yes 
there also you need the sign sagittarius sagittarius is not only going to the temple or to the church or to the mosque sagittarius is also when you are sitting in the aeroplane and they announce that now the pilot is telling that switch off your mobiles and other stuff the airplane is going to move so even there you are having hope that this person the first officer or the pilot they know how to drive this plane if you do not have this belief that the person can drive it then you'll be like oh my god i can't sit here i'm out of this plane <laughs> who knows after going one hour the plane might crash but you are hopeful no 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 he will drive it she will drive it <laughs> so you are relaxed that's why Uh, this can uh, give people a tendency to relax if we are doing our spiritual practices properly and if you are not doing our spiritual practices properly then what can happen is our hope that can get shattered that can get shaken up because saturn and ketu has a tendency to <laughs> electrify things now you may be thinking saturn is a very uh it signifies boring dull and things which are very stagnant how does it electrify it will electrify you by making you bored <laughs> it will show you that look you have walked for so long but now there are no results all right so this eclipse is going to be extremely beneficial for those people who have been channelizing their daily spiritual practices in a way that it aligns with the higher purpose of life yes always remember wherever there are concentric circles with god in the center there is no there is no war why are there wars because everybody wants to put their own country race religion and gender or any other agenda in the center but when god is in the center then everything is beautiful <laughs> then it is not about you or me it is about we because we are all part and parcels of god we are all sat chit ananda actually full of eternity knowledge and bliss sat chit ananda three things <laughs> and then when we are realized in the conclusion of the scriptures at least theoretically then we will understand that we need not sit in the throne because somebody else is already sitting there and that's the person who deserves to sit there that is what we will realize eventually and at the end of our life we will anyways realize it because this body which we have which we decorate very nicely one day is <coughs> anyways going to become either ash or stool or maybe something else yes depending on which religion you are they may burn your body they may put you into a graveyard or they may take you somewhere else <laughs> the body has no existence so this eclipse will give us this realization that uh we need to separate from our false ego yes as in the scriptures it is said mithya ahankar that saturn does the job he is the main one here <laughs> yes he is going to ensure that we realize this Saturn does that very well. He is very expert in that. All right. So congratulations to those who are having daily spiritual practices. And now the question is, if you are not having, then what to do? <laughs> well, you can start doing. There is no problem. So you can chant mantras every day morning or every day evening, which is whichever is uh, preferable according to your schedule or schedule. <laughs> And then you can also read scriptures like the Shrimad Bhagavatam. you can start from the first canto first chapter first shloka yes every day morning ideally you should recite the first shloka of the shrimad bhagavatam janma adyasya yato dvaya dita ratas charthe shu bhigya swarat tene brahma hridaya adi kavaye muhyanti atasuraya tejo varim idam yatha vinimayo trisargo mrisha dham na suena nirasta kuhakam satyam param dhimahi Wow, such a beautiful shloka. And yes, I forgot to say this shloka starts with Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. 
ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय थ्री टाइम्स इट्स मैंडेटरी ओनली देन यू रिसाइड द श्लोकाज ऑफ श्रीमद भागवतम एंड जस्ट डोंट डिसाइड द श्लोकाज डोंट बिकम अ एक्सपर्ट स्कॉलर ऑफ संस्कृत यू नो ओ आई कैन यू नो स्पीक दिस वेरी नाइसली नॉट दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द श्लोकाज आर यू हैव टू कंटेम्पलेट यू हैव टू इंटरनलाइज दो श्लोकाज ओनली देन यू विल रियलाइज दैट एज भागवतम सेज अभिज्ञ स्वराट गॉड इज सुप्रीमली इंडिपेंडेंट ही कैन डू एनी थिंग वेर एवर वॉट एवर टू हुम एवर ही वॉन्ट्स all right so then we will realize that we are actually supposed to be his servants and saturn is the karaka for servants all right and now because mercury is also involved in this eclipse you will also see that mercurian traits are also becoming prominent our com- our communication will be more focused towards our beliefs the houses which mercury rules will also become very prominent all right so this is what i wanted to say i hope i could transfer my message well <laughs> okay so if you have any questions queries or comments regarding this video you can uh, put it in the comments and if you want a consultation you can go to my website you will find the link down and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you <laughs>